Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you how you can create a really nice paintbrush in Photoshop. For some of you, this might not be any groundbreaking news, but if you are a beginner to Photoshop or maybe new to painting, this could be useful, I think. I always try to learn new things and improve, and one thing I want to get better at is just straight up painting. So I want to make things as easy as possible for myself and eliminate any things that holds me back. So I thought that if I have a good brush to start with, it might get me more in the mood for painting. Now, when it comes to brushes, they're useful, but you know, they're not the most important thing when painting, but I think they can definitely help. I've seen that there are tons of brush packs out there you can buy. Uh, I haven't bought any of those, so I cannot say if that's good or not, but I mean, I'm sure there are sure good stuff out there, but I thought I would first try and use the tools I have at hand and create my own. I'm pretty sure you don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes, but hey, I haven't tried them, so you know, maybe I'm wrong. Now, what I wanted to achieve was a brush that has a bit of a texture and that blends the colors together a bit more, well, could you say organically than the standard round brush, something that makes it feel less digital, I suppose. There are a few steps to making a brush. The first thing will be to make the shape of the brush. This is where you can be quite creative. For a general paintbrush, I think it works well to still keep it either you know, round or square or triangular or some pretty symmetrical shape at least. Let's start by making a round brush. What I will do though is, is to break it up a bit and not make it overly smooth or clean. Otherwise it will just be like using the round brush. All right, so I will use this Photoshop default charcoal brush just to get a bit more texture to the shape. I mean, I could actually paint with this, but for me, this is actually quite slow to paint with. So I think this, what I'm doing now is gonna work better. I'm not actually sure if this makes any difference or not. And maybe you could just use the round one, but hey, let's, let's go. Let's erase some bits out and let's add some in again. I'm after a round shape with some slight variation in density, as if you used a real paintbrush and sort of stamped it onto the paper. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, now let's go to edit, define brush preset. Now you can name it, whatever you think fits. So with this shape you can now paint, but I'm not really done there, so let's go to the brush settings menu and change some things. I will reduce the spacing to get less jagged edges. I would also enable transfer. But when I paint I don't want this little sharp tail that each stroke gives, so I will go under shape dynamics and increase the maximum diameter to around 10%. That stops it from sort of tapering off to a complete zero. The next thing is to add a texture to the brush. This menu here shows me some different textures that comes with Photoshop. I'm going to use the artistic surfaces from this drop down menu. Um, now let's use this one. I will set it to subtract here. And yeah, with these sliders, you can change your settings around and get more or less texture showing through. I tend to change these as I go, if I feel the brush needs it or not. Somewhere where I sort of just see it, I think works nice. As it tapers off or fades off, it looks nice with some kind of grainy texture to it. Let's try some colors just to see. I'm going to make the canvas gray so we don't get the harsh contrast to white. To be honest, it's not making crazy difference to just using a round brush, but I think it has some slight variation that feels nice. In the end of the day, if you enjoy painting with it, you will paint more. Now let's put this to the test. I will try to paint a landscape scene in a sort of thumbnail format focusing more on general shapes and colors rather than fine details. I will start with what's furthest away. In this case, let's paint in some sky. And then let's lay out some cloud shapes. 
I think clouds are really fun to paint. You can be very broad with the brush strokes. What I'm after here is just pleasant shapes. There are no real right shapes to a cloud. They come in all forms, so use the shape that works best for your painting. Now let's also paint some green hills. I will get a slightly cooler green that fits closer to the blue colors. This goes well with the blue sky. And as I paint in the shadows, they will all go more towards the blues as they are lit by reflected light from the blue sky. And then the highlights can be a bit warmer as they are light coming from the sun. For the focal point, I want something man-made. I'm playing with the idea of some kind of ruin or altar of some kind. Maybe even something magical, like a portal or whatever this could be. For the foreground, I will keep it pretty loose. And rather than painting all the leaves on these close by bushes here, I will use um, brush strokes rather to indicate vegetation, nothing heavily rendered. After another 30 minutes spent playing around, I got it to this state. I will leave it here and call it a day. I certainly enjoyed uh, changing things up here, um, you know, from my normal methods of 3D modeling and then painting on top to this more traditional painting approach. Hope you also enjoyed this and let me know in the comments if you think some slight tweaks to the brush does a difference at all or if it's just placebo. Either or, subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys give. So I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.